Hello, dear friends, and welcome to the GeoCoast. Um, here I'm standing on the balcony of the Environmental Research Institute um, in University College Cork with Ray Alcorn. Hello, Ray. Hey, hey Mike, how are you? Long time to see. Um, so, Ray is really an amazing person who's been an academic at university, and then he demonstrated how you can apply your academic knowledge to produce something useful in the real world. So, Ray, <laughs> tell us a few words about yourself. Yeah, okay, so I'm Dr. Ray Alcorn. Um, I used to be part of uh, the university in, uh, in Cork, but before that I worked uh, commercially for, for a number of years in different, uh, different industries and in different countries. Um, for the longest time I worked in, in Australia doing full-scale offshore energy. So um, I returned and uh, worked for about eight years in University College Cork running a research centre that's now become the uh, Marai Centre, which, uh, which is great. Um, was it HMRC? It was. It started as HMRC, the Hydraulics and Maritime Research Centre, which a lot of people would have uh, would have known. We had some of the first wave tanks uh, in Ireland, and we did a lot of uh, early work with the likes of Ocean Energy, Wave mm -hmm. Bob, and people like that. But this is going back. And uh, were you actually content. the person who started the centre? Oh no, that was Tony Lewis. Okay. Uh, that was Tony Lewis and uh, uh, Brian Holmes, Jimmy Murphy, and uh, um, now we're still living on a bunch of technicians and people like that. So, mm -hmm. yeah, it has a long, uh, a long pedigree and in different locations in Cork, and it's got a long track, uh, track record. But it really accelerated around about the time that uh, that I came on. There was a lot of initiative from the Marine Institute and from SEAI, uh, and there was funding made available from uh, not only SFA, SFI but uh, HEA to build a new building down mm -hmm. in uh, now the the Beaufort building. So and investment from SEAI and, and various other groups. So, right, so you, the main area of your research was renewable energy, is it right? Huh? Yeah, that's correct, yeah. yeah. Uh, so we would have done a lot of work in uh, wave, tidal, and later uh, offshore wind and floating wind energy. Mm -hmm. So after years of working at university in the research center, now you started your own company, which is running now for like four years? Uh, yeah, it's actually going to have its fifth birthday uh, in one month's time. So yes, it's been going for quite some time. So what is the name of the company? Uh, the company is called uh, Exceedance and we do uh, software for renewable energy finance. So we'll so try to exceed the excellence kind of... Uh, yeah, well Exceedance is a, is a good name. Exceedance curves in, in wind energy um, are, it's, a, it's a typical kind of way of displaying um, resource information, but we like the name. It means uh, exceed, excel uh, mm -hmm. and to do better. And so you actually invented a new word? Well, yeah, we, we, we change the spelling ever so slightly. It's more like the American spelling, but uh, it's, it's good for the search engine option optimization and various other things. Mm -hmm. yeah. So can you tell me, like, what does your company do? What, what makes it unique? Oh, what makes us unique is we have uh, software for renewable energy finance. So at the minute in the world, the way people decide how to build projects, and mm -hmm. in the world, 300 billion euros is spent every year on new projects, and about another 100 billion spent maintaining them. Um, the way people make financial decisions is uh, they use Excel sheets or spreadsheets and they build them all themselves and they spend sp uh, significant time doing that. Um, and what we do is we replace that uh, process with a, a cloud-based uh, piece of software. So we make everything easy. Um, I suppose it's like Sage or QuickBooks for the renewable energy world. So uh, basically your company is focusing on developing and maintaining this piece of software. Uh, yeah, and we do a lot it's of consultancy services and projects uh, with it as well. So we so help it's a lot one of pro it's, it's one program, you're not generating various software packages, it's one program you're focusing on. Yeah, yeah it's, it's one, uh, let's call it a platform, okay. uh, because we did have one piece of software that we were focusing on that we spun out of the university with. So uh, the, the software uh, was actually initially developed in UCC, Mm -hmm. uh, and we, we licensed it out of there, and then we've, you know, over four years since, developed it. So what we've developed it to is a cloud-based platform, and that allows us to, um, to do lots of, add on lots of different features and modules. So you say it's lots of, it's not lots of different packages, it's one platform with different modules. Mm -hmm. So are you then a computer programmer? Is your background in computer oh, programming? Oh, no. Huh? My background is in engineering. I'm an electrical engineer. Uh, so did you employ other background. computer programmers yeah. or you learned yeah. yourself how to do it? Oh no, we, um, we employed uh, lots of software people to do okay. that kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. And tell me, like, so you're saying the software is for investors, yeah? So it, it's not for, for the people who are actually developing the wind farms, let's no, say? No, it's for everybody. It's right along the value chain. So to, for you to convince uh, an investor or a bank to give you, um, uh, to give you the, the finance, you need mm -hmm. to have a credible model with, it, with, with credible returns. So. Um, 
technical people have to input to it, financial people have to input to it, mm -hmm. and then finally people making decisions have to understand what that whole thing is about. So we connect all of those people together uh, in, in, in the chain and we make it easier. So as I say, kind of like Sage or QuickBooks, it's, it's uh, like, like that up and down the supply chain. But can it be used for an, by an Irish farmer who wants to put a couple of wind turbines in the field? Yeah, actually, yes, we have a light version uh, that can be used by a farmer if they want to look at uh, what their financial return is. And in fact, later this year, we're going to be doing a community uh, wind project, uh, looking at having a transparent piece of software so they, that a community um, could either finance it themselves or understand their return from that uh, project. Mm -hmm. And who could be the investors? Are, are we talking about big investment banks or are we talking about private investors? Uh, we actually look at a mix of both. So usually in a project you get um, different levels of debt. So the bank would maybe be senior debt. You have maybe other levels of debt like called mezzanine debt. And then you have private investors and that could be pension funds. Um, so every one of those gets their return in a slightly different way and that's what we help them understand. Mm -hmm. So Obama's talking about all of this with the global warming and that, and a lot of it's a hoax. It's a hoax. I mean, it's a money-making industry, okay? It's a hoax. We didn't run out of stones before we moved on from the Stone Age. So why are we waiting till we run out of fossil fuels before we move to more sources of renewable energy? Hi, I'm Dr. Ray Alcorn, founder and CEO of Exceedance. We all know that climate change is a problem. And we know that more renewable sources of energy are needed. Sources like offshore wind, wave and tidal. But did you know the process of developing them is old and broken? Exceedance can fix this. We have developed software that allows businesses to plan, analyse and optimise their renewable projects and investments. But we need your help to take it to market. Do you know how difficult it is to plan for new projects? To green light a renewable project, you require in-depth, technical and financial analysis to calculate the energy and income generated. You might be surprised to learn that this $300 billion industry runs off old-fashioned spreadsheets. No standard tools exist to generate the financial plans or to stress test an investment and there's a lack of transparency. Currently, 80% of the time is spent understanding the basics of a project and only 20% of the time is spent stress testing and optimizing the project. That's just one productive day per week. Our software flips that ratio right on its head. We get the users focused on analytics, allowing for better optimization, risk reduction and ultimately more profits. We have built a product around international standards. We've taken a complex process and productized it. Exceedance grew from a government funded research project. We started with a desktop prototype that we licensed from a world-class research centre in University College Cork in 2015. And we've refined our knowledge into a cloud-based platform. And we are the first company to offer this. We have already sold desktop software licences and have had significant revenues from using it in projects. We know the market, we know the customer base, and we've been profitable every year since foundation. The renewable energy sector is ripe for disruption. Companies are feeling the pressure to turn projects around faster and with better margins. There are over 10,000 companies in the renewable supply chain that can benefit from our software. Exceedance crosses ICT, FinTech and CleanTech. We've built a team that has domain knowledge in all these areas. We've got the skills to develop, support and commercialise the software along with the services around it. We are now ready to accelerate our growth. We are about to launch the first tier of our cloud offering and we'll follow it with our first joint product with Wood Group. We already have all the development and operational costs accounted for and we'll be spending your investment to deliver value. We've had pre-orders of the software and have generated interest after webinars and trade shows. Our ambition is to become a key player in the entire value chain of renewable energy globally. We want to make more and better projects more quickly and ultimately make an impact on climate change. This is your opportunity to join us, help disrupt the industry, take a slice of the action and help build a better world.